good afternoon to all of you out here. Uh, very, very uh, uh, interesting workshop happening here and I'm also extremely uh, happy to be a part of it and be amongst uh, all of you. Session was intended to happen sometime later but uh, as usual something came up and I had to reschedule it. So uh, uh, coming to the event, so why is this significant now uh, uh, in terms of startups? more than ever. Why is it more significant now more than ever? It's the big question. Uh, as you all know, the city has now been announced as a smart city. And we are on the verge of a, a new era in development in terms of uh, its dynamics, in terms of all the modalities, in terms of the, the, the delivery systems in itself. We are all in the transitional and transformatory phase. So are we prepared for that? Uh, the preparedness from the government missionaries one side, look back at the other side, the transitional elements from the people, from the, uh, the, the other, uh, the, the organs of the society, be it uh, the industrialists, be it the professionals, are they all ready to face the, the challenges? Are they all ready for a new era in development? Are they all ready for the smart city? So that is the question and events like this help us uh, getting together people knowing things better and this is the best time, as I said, for the startups to come in. So why uh, a startup? You all must have gone through a lot of sessions as to what uh, a startup is and a lot of uh, theories, definitions and things about doing and not doing, everything would have been discussed. So what, is, what exactly is it? Uh, let us leave behind regulatory norms uh, about startups. Let's leave behind things like what, uh, five years or 25 crore turnover and all that. Let's just talk about simple things. So what do we all think a startup is? It is a, we ha can we have some answers? What do you think is a startup? Some small company, yeah. Some small company that is growing and it is headed by uh, an individual or a group of uh, people who are managing the finances and something that uh, <coughs> can be said that something that brings in some unique ideas, which is very, very important. Or an idea which, is, which can supersede something that is already existent in the market. So these can be the broad things that can define a smart one. So once we know that these things can define, then we'll get into the groove of what to do next. And uh, going by the, the educational things that is happening, the, the, the preparatory phase, uh, what the people teach, that is, how to get your job and uh, everything is about exams, uh, the way we start, we just start preparing on how to get marks and then we keep cramming, we keep memorizing, we get the marks and then we get into the exam. There is a joke, no? In India, we first become engineers and decide what to do next. So uh, going by that, we first uh, go or study, give our exams and then uh, we end up in the job and uh, then we start our in-service training or in-job training and then learn the job. So that is how the, the education and uh, the, the system is all about. I think uh, that the focus should now, time, time now for the focus to shift to more startup oriented approach as to what would people, what would a candidate, what would a person need in terms of starting a startup. That is very, very important. So to do something you need to know how it is to be done. You have to go to a place, you need to know how do you go, how do you purchase the tickets, how do you go, which is the best modality to go and all that. So likewise, it is very, very important for us to know, for the people who want to do it, to know how to do it. So our education system itself, it is time to inculcate such courses into the, I see a lot of people amongst the audience also pertaining to the field itself. So I think it is the right time to bring in such uh, 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 courses, or even uh, uh, full-time uh, events for them, for them to trans transform themselves from their ordinary uh, job-oriented approach to a startup-oriented approach. That is very, very important. Every, every aspect I'm saying. For example, take uh, the financial management aspects. What do we think? Usually, they are, they are taught with all our discounting principles, with all compounding principles, uh, risk management, everything. But we need to fix startup-oriented approach to everything. Uh, to, uh, to the discounting principles also. Uh, for example, you are, uh, how would, the, how would the, the balance sheet would be uh, in case of startups vis-a-vis -vis a, 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 a routine thing that is happening, routine uh, company. Or how would be the, the cash flow in that, the discounted cash flows, how do we make the 
uh, how do the discounted cash flows happen? For example, you know, you, if you are expecting a profit of uh, uh, say two, 2 lakhs, what would be the cash flow now to, to attain the discounted cash flow so that you can subjectively compare it with whatever that we are going to get. Invariably, the startups will have negatives. The expenses would be more than the uh, income. So we can start with preparing them with uh, familiarizing them with the discounted cash flow analysis, start familiarizing them with how, how things are happening in other places, give them more case studies, multiple markets we can discuss, how uh, market forces work and how they, they are getting themselves uh, acclimatized and how uh, things are happening both successfully and unsuccessfully. So those things have to be taught to them. And this incubator is very, very important. Telling them about incubators is very, very important. As to the initial hand-holding, uh, be it private or be it government, be it profit-oriented, be it non-profit-oriented, uh, telling them about the incubators and hand-holding them initially uh, is very, very important. Uh, at the end of the day, they are new companies, as we said in our initial part of the discussion. So that amount of hand-holding is very, very important and depending on the idea that he or she may have, it is right, uh, it would be extremely pertinent to point him or her towards that direction, so as to what they would require. And also this uh, credit mechanisms and whether they, they are eligible for the credits, they are eligible for the grants, if so, how much, what are all the benefits they are going to get. For example, we have this exemption, capital gain exemption and the first three years there are exemptions. All those have to be told to them. That is very, very important uh, to be covered. Also, uh, the, the means of financing, what other means are all there, available means uh, will have to be clearly spelled out to, to people. Venture capitalism, if you want to go by that, so how much control would you be able to give? Uh, otherwise, how is it fully funded? Which way is it funded? All that. It's, it's very, very important to spell out uh, beforehand and focus the, the education in that direction rather than the routine things that are going to happen. Uh, slightly, we'll have to do tinkering to more uh, startup oriented approach, which is very, very important at this juncture. Not just that, you take uh, uh, what would a start, startup uh, essentially involve? A new idea. A new idea would involve what? The intellectual property. That is very, very important. So how many of us are thinking in terms of that? Telling them how to, how to get things registered, how to get patented and all that. So that, that, that is something that is neglected at many places. So that has to be discussed to them. And also about the new laws and legislations. So how many of them are incorporated that? That every startup person may not know about the regulatory norms. That is something called the Labor Act, the, the, the uh, ESA Act. EPF Act, everything is there. So how many of them are acquainted about that? That is very, very important. And uh, the, the pollution control board norms is there for regulatory functions. Startups are graded as white. So how, what is white? How many of them know that? So how would they categorize themselves into fit into the equation? So the, those things are all very, very important to note. Not just that, even the, the environment laws are all there. The, the Air Act is there, Water Act is there. So people should be familiar with all those things. If they are educated in those lines, it will be easier for them. Uh, rather than uh, incorporation of more bookish elements, see, if somebody has decided to do this, then he will have to be guided appropriately in that line. That is the most important thing. And uh, prepared to fail also, in case if they are uh, not going to do well, the, the, the winding up operations also have to be told to them properly. The, nobody is there to guide on that. So that ends up in a lot of unpleasant situations and scenarios. So the, the winding up procedures, the, the legislations pertain to that, the Bankruptcy Act and other things also will have to be spelled out. So these are broadly things that we can think of in terms of adapting our own system uh, from more job oriented approach to, to the students to more startup oriented approach. So we can have say uh, separate course if, if possible, if not a, a value addition, uh, a separate program as a part of the existing course to cater these needs. So much is to be uh, given and so much is to be learnt also. So most of them fail not because they want to fail, nobody wants to fail in the first place. But most of us do not know as to how to go about it and that is the, uh, the crux of the problem. So I think it is better to start early. As in any other field, early bird will always get the worm. So it's get them started early, get them in the right direction which is very, very important. So that is one thing. Since uh, a lot of uh, educationists are here, I would like to stress upon again, 
to design such programs more and more and uh, to all uh, uh, people who are interested to do it i would again reiterate the fact that this is the this is the right time to go about it this is the time to to have your uh, uh, ideas coming up and there is nothing like innovation innovation will beat everything you have you can reinvent the wheel and you can do a lot of things not necessarily a uh, uh, great uh, great uh, spurt of idea that could transform the world but even small small ideas can really become great if you can work about it in a smart way so i think this is the time nothing can beat innovation people can say uh, we will maintain status quo but people who stay, stay status quo will be the first to be faced out i hope you all are aware of that so innovation and change will never change so keep innovating and keep updating that is very very important and one more thing that i would like to say is the horses of horses for courses whatever is happening now see the current trend what's happening now smart city is happening in my city so what are all they proposing what is the government going to do so what are the the new projects coming up in the city so how do i, I align myself towards that how do i align my startup towards that so is there some lake development activity that is going to come up so how how can i help in terms of that is there a non motorized transport coming up so how can i help in terms of that how would my activity or my own initiative help in terms of that is there a water supply scheme coming up in the city so how do i align or orient myself towards that so that is how we need to think as to how do we orient towards the government policies and the government plans that is very very important so all of us keep in touch we are in touch of the 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 externalities that is happening around us and also the social uh, things that are happening around us so it is good to know government policies also and orient ourselves towards that which i feel is very very important so on that note i'll end my uh, short uh, uh, presentation and speech so this is the right time i'll reiterate these things uh, to to go about things and also get yourself a good mentor or a good guide and uh, i would suggest all uh, the the educationalists to seriously look in terms of a specialized course for uh, our program for startups and uh, nothing beats innovation and finally align yourself with the goals policies of the government you will be definitely successful all the best